If you're as sick as me of seeing other YouTubers talking about how you can make $5 on Fiverr by translating with ChatGPT, then this is a video you're going to want to watch. I have scoured the entire internet to find you five of the best AI business models, not some freelancer crap, but five business models that you can scale profitably into 2023 and beyond. I hope you're as excited as I am because in here are some bangers that you're definitely going to want to stick around for. So whatever you do, watch to the end. I'm going to be going through step by step on all five of these business models, showing you exactly how you can get started and how I would do it if I was in your position. I'm going to be saving my favorite favorite two business models for last so whatever you do don't go anywhere you're going to want to stick around and watch all of them i'm going through them step by step and you're really going to want to stick around for those last two i really can't wait to show you guys that but before we get started my name is liam motley i'm a self-made serial entrepreneur from new zealand now living in dubai on this channel i create content for aspiring and established entrepreneurs looking to hit it big and make valuable business in the ai gold rush that we're seeing right in front of us i post at least three videos a week on these topics so if you don't want to miss out please head down subscribe to the channel hit the bell if you don't want to miss the next one leave a like and if you have any questions that come up during the video please drop them in the comments and i'll be replying to you all as soon as I can. Business model number one, creating niche stores on Etsy using AI art and using print on demand to fulfill it. Premise of this business model is creating niche stores on Etsy around specific topics that people are really interested about. Your job in this business model is to create awesome art on Midjourney, which is an AI art generation tool, and then put it on some t-shirts, put it on some posters, put it on your niche store on Etsy, and then use print on demand services that I'm gonna talk about later to actually ship and create those products. So to get started, you first need to find a niche. One good keyword research tool for Etsy is called eRank. There'll be links for all of these things down in the description. So head down there if you wanna click through to it. To find our niche, we're gonna search something basic like shirt. Then you need to sort by lowest competition. Now we're gonna find all these low competition keywords on Etsy, but we also wanna pair that up with some really high Google searches. For example, here we have a Rick and Morty shirt with 805 competition in the USA and 8,100 Google searches. Those are some pretty good numbers, so we're gonna go with that. What you're then gonna to need to do is head over to Midjourney's website and join their Discord. Midjourney's AI art generation platform is actually run through the Discord server, so all you need to do is head into the Discord server and use the prompts provided to start creating your own AI art. What we're gonna do is slash imagine. So here's a prompt that I've just made up, Rick and Morty fighting off aliens, hyper-realistic plasma. Let's see what this gives us. Here we have our first sample of AI generated art for this Rick and Morty keyword. Because I like this one, I'm gonna hit V2, which will give me variations of that one. So on screen, you've got U1 to four and V1 to four. U is gonna upscale that image and V is gonna give you multiple different versions that are similar to it. So I, I like this one in the corner. So I'm gonna go V2 and get some variations of that. Now we have four different variations of that one bit of art. I really like the top left one. So I'm gonna upscale it and get a full size image out of it now. And here we have our upscaled image that is ready to be saved. Now that you've got a good bit of art from mid journey that you think the people in your niche will like, you now need to create an Etsy account and then connect that Etsy account to a print on demand service. I'm not going to bore you with the details of creating an Etsy account. I'm sure you can figure that out. But once you have the Etsy account made, you always need to go and need to create an account on Printful. Printful is an awesome print on demand service. It's going to allow you to put images on mugs and posters and t-shirts and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you want to sign up for Printful, head down below. I've got my affiliate link down there. If you want to help the channel out, then please do. So Printful has an integration that will allow you to directly connect to your Etsy store. It's pretty basic documentation. It's all here on screen. Uh, you'll be able to find this and just follow the step-by-step -step thing to get yours integrated. I'm not going to show you all here. We haven't got time in this video. Pretty straightforward. And then once you go back to Printful, you can start creating your different items. And once you've created them to your liking, then you can put them on your Etsy store and start selling. The reason why I think this is such a profitable and scalable business model is because Etsy brings all the traffic in. You are not having to market any of your stuff. All you need to do is be hitting these right keywords and then your stuff will be marketed to the right people who are searching for that kind of merch. I'm actually thinking of doing a case study on this exact method. So if you guys want to see me run this and do it for a week or so and, and show you my results, then please head down to the comment section. Let me know and I'll, I'll for sure make that video for you guys if you really want it. Business model number two, YouTube book summaries. Your job then is to find the books that people want to be reading about and then create that summary for them on YouTube using AI tools. So to start off, we're going to head to Amazon and start looking for some books. I found a book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. What you need to do is head over to this TubeBuddy extension. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki summary. And here we get a very good score, which has got good score, good uh, search volume and uh, a bunch of other things. But basically this tells you uh, that's a good keyword to be optimizing for. What you're now going to do is come over to ChatGPT and ask for a summary of the book. So I've asked it for a summary, I've asked it for a breakdown of the key points, and then I've asked it to merge it together so we get a nice full explanation of the book and its key points in a format that we can then pass over to our next step. Next, we're going to take that summary over to an amazing AI tool called Pictory. All you need to do is paste that script in and then it's going to match videos to those bits of text and it's going to make a, a seamless video just like that that we can begin to use on our YouTube channel. Pick a style and an aspect ratio, 16 by 9 for YouTube. If you want to sign up to Pictory, head down below, it's in the description. And just like that, Pictory has matched up video to the different parts of text in the script, and we have an excellent video ready to go. You will need to do a little bit of tweaking like this first slide here. All you need to do is export this, post it on your new channel, and just start doing this over and over again. Find more books that are in high demand using that keyword research tool, TubeBuddy. Make these summaries and post them, and soon enough, you're going to have some hits, and you're going to start getting views and monetized and making money. Just as an example, here's an 11 million view video doing a summary of Atomic Habits. So there's definitely a lot of demand for these services. Business model number three, 
TikTok traffic to free ebook to ClickBank offer. Posting videos on TikTok in certain niches and trying to build up a following is such a great way to get traffic to your offers. This business model is all about picking a specific niche on TikTok, posting content for it, eventually building up some views and, and then funneling all that attention and all those eyeballs through to a free ebook that you offer in your link, in your link tree, in your bio on TikTok. The ebook is gonna be within the niche that you're doing your videos from and then it's gonna contain specific links from ClickBank and you're gonna be able to earn as affiliates for selling these ClickBank offers. To get started with this business model, you need to choose a niche and then once you have your niche you can start looking for offers on clickbank for the purpose of this video i'm going to be doing a motivation uh theme page on tiktok and that's pretty easy to create content for but then also on clickbank it's easy to find self-help type uh, offers that i can sell within my ebook so i found a clickbank offer called wealth manifestation offer taking the market by storm we get 47 dollars per conversion on this it's got a great gravity store now we need to figure out what's the topic of our free ebook and for that we're going to go back and use chat gpt so i've asked chat gpt i have a motivation theme page on tiktok i also have a wealth manifestation offer from ClickBank that I want to sell through a free ebook. What are some ebook ideas that I could sell this offer in? And there it goes, it's given me a whole bunch of great options. So now I just need to choose one of them and get it to write the entire book for me. So I've picked one of them now I'm asking for an outline. You know the drill here, you ask for an outline, you put it in a document, then you ask for the different parts of that outline to be written out in full. Designer is an awesome tool that's gonna to allow you to convert that text that ChatGPT has just given you for that into a really awesome looking ebook that looks super professional and it's gonna trick all the people on the TikTok that this is the legit stuff, not made by AI completely so. Well, you can try to format it in Word and other tools and then use Canva to make a front cover for it. This is gonna save you so much time and it's gonna look a whole lot better. So if you wanna use this, there's a link down in the description as well so you can sign up for that. Once you have the ebook made, you're gonna to need to go through it and figure out where you can put buttons into a uh, link to that offer on ClickBank so you can start earning commission. All you need to do now is set up a link tree in your TikTok bio and then start posting content within that motivation niche or whichever niche that you're doing. This can be repurposing content from other people, it can be editing it slightly, or it can be using Pictory, which is another great uh, tool we've seen today. And go to ChatGPT and ask for what are some motivational video ideas for my TikTok account in the motivation niche. They'll give you some ideas and then you can take that script and then put it into Pictory and it'll match it up with cool guys working out and, and motivation stuff in the background. So get creative with how you can make this TikTok content, then you can start getting more eyeballs to your offer and start making money. And then you can expand beyond just the motivation niche and start doing a bunch of other niches as well. I really love this business model and I hope some of you guys get some great results using it. Into the final two business models now. Thank you for sticking around. We've still got more to come. Business model number four is YouTube automation using Amazon affiliate links. So what you're gonna be doing is finding high ticket items on Amazon in certain categories that have higher commissions so that you can earn as much money as possible. Pretty straightforward business model. What you're gonna be doing is finding high ticket products on Amazon with a good referral commission. Then you're gonna get ChatGPT to write your scripts for YouTube videos and you're gonna create these with Pictory. So let's get started. Here we have some fees for the Amazon affiliate program, for example. Because kitchen appliances here have a 9% commission rate, we're gonna take that over to ChatGPT and ask for some examples of kitchen appliances on Amazon that are over $200. So I've just asked it for some kitchen appliances on Amazon that are over $200. So it's given me a bunch of different products. I'm gonna take one of these and ask for a script to be written for the YouTube video we're gonna make. Now I've taken that name of the product and I've asked, give me a summary of the Ninja Foodie 9 in 1 pressure cooker, including its best features and who it will be good for. So hopefully the summary that it gives us gives us enough information that we can start making a YouTube video out of this. Now you're gonna take that script and head back over to Pictory and rinse and repeat the process, paste through your text in and proceed. And just like that, Pictory has matched up the text to a bunch of great videos. What I would probably do is get a few stock footage things of this actual product. I'd go into Amazon and see if there's any uh, videos I could find of it, or I'd go to YouTube and see if there's any uh, footage of it being used and just plop it in here and there, maybe in the, in the first one and a, and a couple through the video, just so it doesn't look too stock footagey. Now all you need to do is create your YouTube channel, your little niche uh, kitchen review product uh, channel and start posting videos like this, find more products, create more videos and post them on your channel. Now in the description of every single one of these videos needs to be your affiliate link to this product so you can get paid on every single sale. I'm not gonna bore you with signing up to the Amazon affiliate program, but I'm sure you can figure that out. Head onto the Amazon site, ask to join the affiliate program, and then you're gonna be able to get your own unique links from their website and put it into the descriptions of your videos. And finally, business model number five is YouTube translation services. Translation services for YouTube creators are booming because of headlines like this. 60% of YouTube views come from a non-English speaking audience. With this business model, you're gonna be finding clients clients who need the YouTube videos uh, translated and put different subtitles on so they can reach wider audiences. This is such a valuable business because you're helping them reach more people with the same content. Repurposing it is gonna be such a no brainer for them, especially if you can keep that price point low by using AI tools. By helping them tap into a much broader market and allowing them to get their content in front of more people, they're gonna be making more money and are willing to share some of that with you. Your job as a business owner is to take videos from a content creator and put a different language subtitle on it. To do this, we're gonna be using a tool called Nova AI. Link will be in the description if you wanna head over and check it out. Such an amazing tool, it's a really good video editing platform, online editing platform in its own right. So to start with, Nova AI has put a set of uh, subtitles on my video in English. You can change the language of the subtitles. So this is gonna listen to the entire video's audio, transcribe it, and then put those into well-timed subtitles. But the translate feature is even better. All I need to do, I've got Danish here on the screen and English. All I need to do is click 
the eyeball on the Danish one, and then all of a sudden, it's got Danish subtitles. And just one click, you have changed it from English to Danish subtitles and they're all synced up perfectly. That's about it for this business model. If I was to do this as a business model, I'd probably go into Upwork and find someone to do quality control for me just to make sure the videos and the, the subtitles that I'm giving to my clients is actually correct. But you just need to get someone to skim through, pay them five, ten dollars an hour, whatever it is, and just skim through these videos really quickly and you're still gonna be making a ton of money. So that about wraps it up for the video. I hope you got something out of this. I really wanted to give you guys examples of business models that you could actually build and scale and be profitable over time. Now for the entrepreneurs watching this who know a good thing when they see it, I know what you're going to do. Tomorrow you're going to get started on one of these and you're going to give it a go. Most of these don't require any money to get started so there's no excuse. Just get started and give it a go. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm actually thinking of doing a case study on one of these business models and showing you guys over the shoulder me building one of these businesses from scratch and showing you the results after a week or two. If a case study like that sounds interesting to you, please head down below and let me know. I'm looking to do some more videos like that in the future so I just want to hear it. If you guys want it, I'll make it. If you like content like this, I post at least three times a week with AI entrepreneurship focused content. So if you're into that, please subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified when the next one drops. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you like this video, I've actually dropped the video a few days ago talking about how I built an AI startup in eight minutes with ChatGPT, which I think is an awesome video, got a great reception. But if you haven't seen that already, it's gonna be on the next screen after this, so you can click through to that. But uh, please check it out, it's a great video. If you enjoyed this one, please subscribe, please like. Uh, but that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. All the best to you as you navigate this AI gold rush. I'll see you next time.